Hello Earth Signs, I um, had a bit of time, I knew I was going away and I thought I'd just do some elements reads for you all to tie you over for the next week. Um, so this one's for Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Um, I'll pull a few cards for each element at the end, but it will be a general read. Okay, Handsome Roberts Tarot deck here. And you do have the card of Capricorn coming in first. So this is the devil energy. You know me, I love this card. It means so much. It's about the ego. It's about lust. It's about taking things to extremes and addictions and being chained to something you can't get like, oh, that you can't let go of. You're looking like you're walking away from someone you couldn't get away from. Um, you're leaving someone behind that has given you no emotional satisfaction. So you could have been dealing with a narcissist here. Um, energy of moving away from something that doesn't serve you and into, look at this, into absolute happiness. So some of you have moved away from someone that was not the right person for you. Could be you've dealt with a karmic relationship there too with that devil energy. Oh, this is beautiful because now you have the temperance card. So you're definitely back in balance here, Earth Sign. You're in the right place, right time. And look at this, you're carrying off this emperor energy like like crazy beautiful beautiful okay there's an offer coming in here again from an earth sign a lot of earth in this reading and a decision that needs to be made before you can move forward but this usually means you've got to cut something out and here you go with the earth sign again some of you are dealing with capricorns some of you are dealing with you may be capricorns dealing with other earth signs but very strong earth energy here High Priestess coming in to talk about your intuition. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, we do have the Judgment card. So we could be talking about a revisit to the past. A chance with someone again. Um, rebirth. Something about putting boundaries up though. Understanding the, the need for boundaries around this. In order to get some sort of victory here. Okay, and there's an offer coming in. Okay, some of you are walking away from a situation that hasn't served you here. Now, I've got to say to you, if this devil card is coming up as a Capricorn, you could be moving towards a Capricorn here for a Ten of Cups energy. Some of you have been waiting for this person to come in or to come back here as well. Because the Three of Wands can often talk about waiting for your ships to come in. So some of you could have been waiting for someone to come back from the past. Quite possibly someone with a very strong earth energy. Um, the thing is there's something here that you need to cut out before you move forward. There's a decision here you have to make. So maybe the decision is that you have to move away from someone to be with someone new here. But everybody's coming up. You've got a water sign at the front here. Other than that, everybody's coming up earth sign. But you'll know what this is because I know everybody always comments and knows exactly who I'm talking about here. Some of you are moving away from one sign to go to another. Some of you are giving a relationship away, a marriage away, some sort of commitment away to move to another person. This person that you want could be a water sign and you may be giving up an earth sign for a water sign. Very possible here. But you've been offered something by someone who recognises you as being the person they want to spend their life with. Sorry, I probably got my hand over that. Um, someone sees you as the one here with this Empress. They're now balanced and they're ready to make an offer. And if they weren't before, they definitely are here. But the universe talks about you making sure you have really strong boundaries if you want to win at this. So it could be that this person is maybe pushing at your boundaries a little bit. Um, I sort of felt that in one of the other readings too, where people sort of take advantage of your energy and they sort of, don't, they're not always consistent. They may do a bit of coming out, but this person feels very, very tied to you here. Um, so the water sign reading may be the one that had that in, I'm not sure. But there's a very strong energy that you've got a second chance with this person. You've got a second chance at love here. So it's on its way to you. So let's pull a few cards for the elements here. Okay, so we're going to do Taurus first. So Taurus, let's see why, what your energy is coming through on that reading. 
The reading's general, but this will give me a little bit more look into Taurus. So we're going to take one from the top, one from the middle, and one from the bottom. Oh, okay, that's really nice. So Taurus, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. You really want to work on something here. And I feel like you've made an offer to this person before, and maybe they have not taken the offer but they're going to this time because you're offering them what they want this time. So I think all the way along you may have been offering them something, but you weren't really maybe clear about what you wanted to offer. Maybe you weren't giving them what they wanted because we've only got three pentacles here, so they weren't putting in the energy back again. Um, the Four of Cups says to me that maybe they thought you weren't offering them something that was worth their while. But now you're offering them the Ace of Pentacles, they will take that offer now. So that's a good good thing, Taurus. You just have to go in and offer that stability. That's what the other person's after. They want to know you're for real here. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, one from the top. One from the middle and one from the end here. Oh, interesting. We've got three of pentacles back again. A lot of balance in this reading. So Virgo, you need to, you are dealing with an earth sign as well, without a doubt. Now this could be you. It could be you that the universe is saying you need to rely on your intuition here. If you want to put effort into something, you have to do things in a very different way because you're trying, trying the same thing with a, same result so this person definitely wants to be with you but i don't think you're presenting the offer in the way you need to because the universe is asking you to use your intuition here so you're not you're going in with logic i'd say being a virgo you're probably going in with a lot of logic drop the logic go in with your intuition go by feel um this person wants to sense who you are not what you have to offer. They want to know that you feel the same way about them, not how much you've got to offer in a physical sense. So make sure you're revealing your feelings here, Virgo. You have to talk your feelings, otherwise the person doesn't trust what you've got to offer. Okay, and Capricorn. I'm going to wonder what that was now. Hermit. Aha! Look, Hermit's the Virgo. Okay, Capricorn. One from the top, Ace of Pentacles, one from the middle, Seven of Wands, one from the bottom, Three of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, the person you're dealing with here, or the person that's dealing with you, sees you as having your defences up. I feel like for some of you, perhaps you think someone is still in the picture here. And you're being a bit defensive with this offer. This offer's good. The Ace of Pentacles has come out again. All the Earth signs are getting very, very solid commitments here. Very solid commitments. But you're all up in arms here. You're fighting it. And I don't know if you're worried about this person's truth, whether they're coming forward, whether they've come out of relationship, and whether, because in the beginning we saw in that relationship thing, that there is someone walking away from someone to come to someone. So I feel like the Capricorns have a choice to make here and they are really concerned that they're taking on someone who may not have let another person go yet. So it's a matter of you being very, very defensive here and standing your ground before you move forward. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you need to, to convince them that you are no longer with someone else, that you've given the last relationship away, because the Capricorn's going to be very defensive with this. Anyway, everyone, have a great week. I'll see you when I return.